good to be back. I bought a new computer after my old computer just gave me absolute hell. Okay, and what actually gave me even more absolute hell? Tesla. Okay, Tesla came out with the Investor Day and I'm pretty sure I actually went through with you guys about what actually happened in the whole Investor Day, what I thought is going to be happening. And of course, everything fell flat. I'm very happy that I actually shorted Tesla a little bit, uh, but I managed to get out a little bit of a position. I Okay, I, full transparency, let me check how much I actually uh, shot Tesla at. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Um, all right, the first time I shot the Tesla was at two hundred and sixteen dollars, uh, two hundred and twelve dollars, and I shot the Tesla again at two hundred and sixteen dollars, and I shot the Tesla again at two hundred and seventeen dollars. Yeah. So uh, my average at that time was about two hundred and fifteen ish, two hundred and sixteen ish. Uh, I'm very very happy because uh, when Tesla went all the way down, okay, I managed to get out. A little, uh, I managed to cover a little bit of my shorts at about $182 or $183, I forgot. Um, but, you know, uh, I'm very happy that I managed to cover some of those shorts. So pretty good on the, on that part. Uh, I'm still holding on to some shorts. I'm seeing how that actually going to be developing out. I want to maybe uh, get out um, all of my Tesla maybe at about $170. I'm not sure if it's going to be holding uh, to that extent. Uh, but I'll see how that goes. But of course, again, like I said, okay, before all you toxic bulls come, come at me and saying, oh, you know, you should not time the market and things like that. I know, I know. It's a short-term thing. And honestly speaking, it's more of a gamble. Okay, I thought that the investor day was going to give me bad results and I guess it kind of worked out. I guess it kind of worked out. Okay, so let's talk about Invest today. Okay, the whole entire four hours was pretty annoying. Okay, it was pretty annoying to say the least. Um, a lot of people, were, they were expecting um, more talking about um, the whole entire um, robo-taxi. We are expecting a new vehicle. Um, if there wasn't a leak talking about a new Gigafactory in Mexico, then maybe there would be a lot more hype. But of course, the leak actually came out, which was one of the reasons why they even went up to such high valuation, about $216 and $17 and such. Um, of course, I'm not saying that uh, the Gigafactory alone was able to bring the value up that high. I'm pretty sure there was a lot of hype behind um, Investor Day. Okay? So now we have to actually talk about what actually Investor Day means. Okay? Because Investor Day, if you actually just break it down, it just means that it's a day for investors. Okay? But apparently, that's not what Elon Musk thinks. He don't think that it's a day for investors because he thinks that if you are... Well, it's, it's not a day for investors of Tesla. According to Elon Musk, it's a day for investors of Earth. His master plan was to actually allow the whole entire unit, well, the whole entire Earth to be using renewable energy by 2030... Oh, uh, no, no, by 2040 or 2050. I forgot about that. That was how not memorable it was, Okay. That was his huge master plan. People were talking about how, you know, they could be doing uh, completely knockdown, uh, which is your uh, your uh, CKD vehicles. They were talking about how it could be a full uh, cast, um, a full cast vehicle uh, production line. It could be a huge ramp up. It could be new batteries. It could be a new vehicle. There were so many expectations and none of them was met. And that was horrible. Okay, when no, no, when none of the expectation were met, that that is when it is the that is the worst. It's the worst for Tesla. Okay, and I guess that kind of that that kind of explains a lot. Okay, people were really expecting a lot. The last time we actually heard of a master plan, okay, uh, from Elon Musk was back in twenty sixteen, and back in twenty sixteen, Elon Musk actually released the whole entire robo taxi. Okay, when he when he released the whole entire robot taxi, everyone was like, "Oh yeah, you know that's great." Okay, <coughs> excuse me. Uh, we we actually see Tesla uh, actually creating such a good, great platform and such. A lot of us thought that, oh, you know what? If that were to be the case, this could be a further extension of the robot taxi. Maybe he would be making a Model Q, a Model X. I uh, don't know. They already have that. Like a Model Z or whatever it is. We thought that he would actually create, um, he would actually create another vehicle where the price, uh, the entry price would be a lot lesser. That was what a lot of people were expecting, even, even myself included. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, when I was actually shopping Tesla, there were a lot of concern in my mind. My concern was the new car because if a new car were to come out during this investor day and they allow 
people to take if they were to allow orders to be taken on investor day itself i can assure you that i would have been destroyed in tesla or, or on investor day i would have not made so much money but and luckily okay luckily that wasn't the case and it wasn't just the case where it's not even they introduced a car and didn't take orders for it they basically just showed you a cloth on top of a car and said that yeah you know we're, we're most likely gonna be, be doing that okay so there, there were a lot of disappointment i'm not gonna lie however however i do not want to be completely bearish about this whole entire investor day because they did show us a lot of interesting things they did show us about production they actually show us how they are going to be ramping up they are going to be showing us how from 2023 all the way to 2025 what are they most likely going to be doing to production for them to actually get from one number of production all the way to another number of production which is very important because i can just tell you oh yeah uh you know this year i'm making 2 million vehicles and then by 2025 i'm going to be making 30 million vehicles i can just give you numbers but if i do not tell you how the process is going to actually be going it doesn't really matter okay and of course there was also another expectation that kind of fell short which was a possible stock buyback but personally i think elon musk would not do that okay i understand the whole point of wanting a stock buyback uh simply because you want to actually um excite or, or like incite the um investors to actually invest more if you have a stock buyback that's going to be helping the stock price if you're having a stock price investors actually just get almost all in into tesla and things like that yeah that's that's a pretty good uh way for you to incentivize investors but i don't think that elon musk uh is actually looking towards that direction of <coughs> of saying yeah you know what let's just do like a 30 billion dollar uh, stock buyback or let's just do like a 100 billion dollar of stock buyback first things first is because elon musk just spent 44 billion dollars on twitter do you really really think that a stock buyback would be anywhere in the top three priority for him i don't think so and the next thing is that for Tesla to do a stock buyback just on Investor Day, that is plain copium, hopium, or any any sort of any any sort of drugs that you're on because there's no reason for them to do so. There's not sufficient evidence or sufficient um you know actual processes going down for them to do so. And even then, Elon Musk got his own stock option. He don't really need to do a stock buyback. There's almost no reason for him to do so. Okay, so of course, if you're saying from the company's point of view, if it's worth it or not, I think Tesla, if they did not have the whole 100% uh, increase in the last two months, if they did not have that 2x uh, period of uh, rise, I can definitely see a stock buyback happening. Okay, because they, they will think that, oh, you know, Tesla at what, $85 is going to be a steal let's do a stock buyback or if you know if tesla would uh, be like oh about a hundred dollars um you know maybe i think that tesla uh, isn't exactly worth a hundred dollars i think they can definitely go higher let's do a stock buyback incentivize more investors to come in sure thing but before investor day okay tesla were all the way to almost 220 dollars a pop who is going to be dumb enough to do a stock buyback there okay it's the same thing for investors think about it this way i have been in a lot of different chat groups uh, uh regarding uh, talking about teslas and such okay a lot of them they are all talking about you know back when we were looking at 120 dollar a share everyone's like saying uh, you know maybe i will buy back in at say 95 dollars i'll buy back in at 80 dollars okay everyone who claims to be an expert of some sort it was like saying, oh, yeah, 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 the next resistance line is at $95. The next resistance line is at $75. I'm going to buy that. You know, that sort of thing. Okay, $120 people were still thinking it's going to continue going downwards. Okay. However, after we had the huge pump up all the way to like $180, people were just still saying, $180, that's cheap. That is cheap. We can, we can go to $150. Come on now. Like, let's buy in. I don't care. Buy everything. And, you know, when you are $180, it went down to like $170. People are like, nah, 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 nah. We got to buy the debt. We have to buy the debt. And of course, it still went up. Okay, but that was not the same exact mindset for people. When it was $110, uh, it wasn't the same exact mindset when it was $130. Okay, people were fearful. People were fearful that Tesla would be going down and down and down and down. Okay, so like I said, stock buyback, not going to be the point. It's not going to be the case. I don't see that happening. 
Which is why people who actually put the expectation of a stock buyback in the invest today, I don't see it. I don't see it. Okay, if, if you actually bought Tesla shares before the investor day, hoping for a stock buyback, then I'm, I'm sorry. Uh, I got news for you. you. You probably got destroyed over there. Uh, but yeah, again, preface this whole entire thing. I'm not saying that Tesla's going to like go to zero. I don't think Tesla's going to go to zero. I think Tesla's a good company. I think Tesla have a good position in the world. I think Tesla is doing a good service. I think Tesla got a good business model. But in a short term, especially with this sort of investor day, you cannot really blame me for being a little bit bearish, okay? But of course, like I said, all of this is short term. I'm already exiting a lot of my position. I'm even bearish on the whole entire market as a whole, okay? I'm bearish on uh, the NASDAQ as a whole, which is why I, I bought calls on SQQQ, which is this triple leverage shopping the NASDAQ, and I'm calling and I'm buying calls on it. I've made about seven thousand dollars on it. Uh, I'm already ex I already exited on um, I think half of my position yesterday. Well, a little bit less than half. Okay, before Nasdaq actually uh, de decided to just go back up a little bit, but it doesn't really affect my position as much. Uh, I'm I'm deciding to either slowly uh, get rid of all my position uh, from the short end of the stick, and then effectively I'll be holding the cash. And just waiting, waiting, waiting for the game. You know, I, I, I'm just going to be holding the cash, and I'll, I have to see how that goes. Okay, I'm not like again. I'm not saying that you know, uh, like we are all going to go into recession tomorrow. That that sort of thing. I'm not. I just feel that in the short term, we don't really have a lot of good um, indicators that we are going to have a pretty good market. Think about it. Inflation is not going down again. I really don't want to be saying this, but inflation is not going down. Okay, FOMC meeting. The feds come out to say that, yeah, you know, we're, we're probably not going to be doing 50 basis point increment. But what makes, what gives you that much confidence that uh, we are not going to go to uh, 50 basis point increment? A lot of them are still thinking that, yeah, maybe we're still going to be doing 25. Maybe we're even going to pause. Yeah, but, you know, if you actually have consistent inflation reports coming out to actually tell you otherwise, then I don't think that's going to be very, very wise of you to do so. Okay, so, yeah, there's a lot of uh, this uh, sort of uh, chapters going on. Uh, so, personally, like I said, short term, I don't really see uh, it going that well. But, of course, at the same time, I refuse to play any sort of stock movement during the FOMC. Simply because that's how unsure I am. Okay, I'm so unsure that if it's going to be good or bad. And for once, I'm actually actually very rare 50-50 on this. It's just that the sentiment right now as a whole is very bearish, which is why I did the bearish bet. Okay, that's completely all to it. Okay, I, I, I just want to say it out to all you guys who are actually watching my video. I'm not going to be saying I'm bearish on the whole entire economy. I don't think the economy is going to recover. I don't think the uh, economy is going to recover back to the 2019 uh, highs. I, none of those, okay? I do think that we are in a strong economy. But I, at the same time, I do see us entering a recession. I'll bet long or short, we do, we do not know as of now. But I do see us actually getting into a recession because this just doesn't make sense. The numbers don't add up. The math ain't mathing. Okay? But anyway, yeah, that, that's all for Investors Day and <clears throat> basically like my whole entire opinion on the market as well and kind of like an overall for my positions that I actually have on the market. Okay, I will most likely be creating uh, some videos um, on my Jeff portfolio dive as well uh, because there's a lot of position that I really wanted to update but because there was there are always better news for me to actually update so I'll actually do those news first which is why chances are I'm going to be giving you like a little bit more of a, a lag when it comes to video on my portfolio my portfolio dive. Okay, but anyway that's all I have for this video. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.